Diva. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to explain to you what does that mean on Zillow when you see pre-foreclosed properties and when you see foreclosed properties. The biggest difference between a pre-foreclosed property and a foreclosed property is who is the owner of the property. A pre-foreclosure, the owner of the property is the person that took out a mortgage to purchase the property. And a foreclosed property, the bank, the person that is the lender of the loan, is the owner of the Smash property. Smash that like button to let me know if you want more videos like this and if this video was helpful to you. Banks do not want to own property. So when they actually take ownership of a property that has been foreclosed, they will either offer the property at auction for sale or they will put it on the market as a bank owned or you'll also hear us investors call them REOs and they will be listed by a real estate agent for the bank. We also call pre foreclosure properties. We also call them 30, 60, 90 days late. You hear a lot of us investors say, Hey, we're purchasing the 30, 60, 90 days late list. I purchased that list. I purchased mine from Citricado, if you're wondering. And so these are people, they are in default on their mortgage, meaning their payments are not current. Usually your mortgage is due the first of the month. So that means these people are either 30 days late, 60 days late, 90 days late or more. If you're looking for a deal for pre foreclosure, you need to contact the person that took out the mortgage because they still have rights to the property. Have you ever seen or wondered about those pre foreclosures or tried to get in to look at a pre foreclosure on Zillow? Let me know below. Leave it in the comments below. Have you ever seen them and wondered, hey, are these great properties that I can get a deal on? I'm going to show you how you can find pre foreclosures and foreclosed properties on Zillow and show you who you need to contact so you can find out, hey, how can you get in on a possible great deal? What does pre foreclosure mean on Zillow? That is the question that I am answering today because a lot of times people call me, they see a pre foreclosure on Zillow, they call me because I'm a real estate agent and they say, Neva, can you arrange that I can go and take a look at this property? I'm interested in buying it and I have to tell them, um, no, this house is not on the market. So I'm going to just show you an example and walk you through what this means. First thing you need to do, you need to go on Zillow. You need to sign in. Um, and then I'm just going to pick, let's do like Atlanta, Atlanta zip codes or something like that. I'm just going to pick a zip code 30301. I'm going to come in here 30301 and I'm going to show you how you just do a search in your particular area. So I don't know anything about Atlanta and this zip code, right? So I went in here, you see pre foreclosures already popping up because I already have it as a default. But what you're going to do is right here where this for sale is click this to expand and this is foreclosures, right? And if you click this question mark, what does, what does it say? These properties are currently listed for sale. They are owned by a bank or a lender who took ownership through foreclosure proceedings. These are also known as bank owned or real estate owned REOs, what we call REOs. So these houses, the biggest thing is that the owner, there's no need for you to negotiate anymore with the owner because the owner no longer owns the house. These are bank owned. Now, this section here where you have for sale right here, these are for sale, but see this where these check marks are foreclosed and pre foreclosure. These houses are not for sale. This is just Zillow is pulling the data from public records and showing you that these houses are in foreclosure and in pre foreclosure status, right? So that's the biggest things. Foreclosure information and pre foreclosure information is public information. A lot of times when I reach out even to these owners directly, they're upset. They think that maybe I did all this extensive research to find your contact information and I didn't. It's just literally all over the place because it's just free public information. Okay. So biggest thing is foreclosures. These are bank owned. If you're looking for property to buy to, um, wholesale and you want to um, communicate directly with the homeowner, you don't want to try to go through the bank, you need to focus on pre foreclosures. Okay, pre foreclosures are if you look here, it says the lender initiated foreclosure proceedings on these properties because the owners 
were in default, meaning that they're behind on the loan, right? They're 30, 60, 90 or days or more late. They're in default on their loan obligations. Pre-foreclosures also include properties for which a, pro a foreclosure auction is scheduled. So the key here is the auction is scheduled, but it has not taken place. Okay, because once the auction take takes place, then it's either going to be a, now a bank owned property or someone purchased it like a cash buyer purchased it at auction. And so, again, there's no need for you to communicate with the homeowner because they literally have no rights now to the property. Uh, it also says here these properties are not found on a multiple list and service. So that's what I mean. These are not for sale. So that's what I mean when sometimes people see these on Zillow and they say, oh, let's go look at these. We cannot just show up to these people's house. This is like just going to a stranger's house, just knocking. Just because the house is in pre-foreclosure, they are not going to be happy to see you, okay? So I'll um, refer to my other videos on marketing to pre-foreclosures and things like that. So here... You would just check this box for pre-foreclosures. I'm just gonna show you an example. Okay, so this house, this is in Atlanta. This house is in pre-foreclosure. You click on it, and I'm just going to show you information. This is public information, totally free information that is saying this house is in pre-foreclosure status. Um, it's telling you, you know, this is probably from, this information is most likely from like a previous listing when this house was for sale. But I'm just gonna show you that you can go through here and Zillow does have a lot of information on the property, bedrooms, appliances, all this type of stuff, which is, you know, it's pulling from pro probably the property records, real estate taxes, all these different databases. Um, you know, it's probably, I have no idea where Zillow pulls the data from, but I'm just guessing it's from tax records and previous listings and things like that. Um, so that's what I mean. You could go down all this info here. Also, this house has a foreclosure auction schedule. It even tells you that, look, the owner of this property has been served a notice of sale. Okay. Properties in Fulton County. So that's what I'm saying. It tells you, um, the information loan issued 190,000 in 2019. The loan was issued by Planet Management Group. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of this stuff is public information. So you're gonna find when you start, like I said, a lot of people that are homeowners have no idea that this much stuff is out here, but it is. Like this is this is not even where we get to like paid services. We could get even you know more stuff that's paid, but this is completely free information that you can use. Um, you know, Zillow and you can calculate because, um, what I was going to say here is you can calculate about how much equity they have in the house because it already told you the loan to value. I mean, I'm sorry. You can calculate or estimate about how much equity they have. Like Zillow has an estimate here, two, three, three, four, two, one. You can start with a rough estimate. And then when you go down, you can see that the loan was like for like, what was it? 219 or something. What was the loan for? 190, right? Now, one, once we get into like paid services, like um, I use Citricato and um, I'll insert the other one right now that I used it. I just went blank that you can start paying it and they calculate and they can tell you for sure what the current, how much this person currently owns and what their equity is because you're going to need that. Um, if you want to wholesale, the property definitely has to have a certain amount of equity. Um, if not, you get into different options like if you want to do owner financing, short sales, things like that. So that's what I'm saying. This is completely free. Go play with Zillow. Go find pre-foreclosures and things like that. The other thing... I tell people to use this for, it's to build their network for people are always saying they're looking for investor friendly real estate agents. Well, just look for agents that have these foreclosed and bank owned properties because they're already working in the distressed space. So they are, they are already accustomed to working with investors. So if you go here, like I said, these are not for sale, but these are right. These foreclosures are for sale. So if you come here, click on these you can find agents that are already active in the reo world so look phone number look all her info and like i said a lot of times if they have one they're gonna they're gonna have other ones 
just click here look boom another one see and that's it these are all investor friendly agents they already are they're used to seeing investors you're used to getting calls from investors um and telling you what to do and see you could also see that they have other recent sales these are probably other reos so this is a great way i always tell people just click on your what the zip code area you're interested in these are agents that you want to start with and build your network to have investor friendly agents that can send you leads and let you know what may be coming on the market and things like that look at this this looks like it might not be too bad from the outside let's see <laughs> that's a foreclosures will give you a surprise see okay here's one not too bad right no this will be a quick um quick flip quick fix up and rent or something depending you know on the circumstances it's not you know one that's like foreclosures can be tore up from the floor up so that's what i'm saying i would be contacting him if this was my area that's somebody i need to know that's my tip for you today i'll see you next video remember to subscribe subscribe and hit that like button to help me with the youtube algorithm bye bye see you next time Mwah. i love you bye bye